Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make kapiak, which is a rice soup. This is a super comforting, nostalgic dish for me because my mom used to always make it for me when I was younger, especially when I got sick. I remember being cozied up in front of the TV, wrapped up in a blanket, just sipping on the smell and the flavors and everything just take me back home. So I'm really excited to share this with you. We are going to be making it the way that my mom makes it and that's with pork riblets. Now you can customize it to your taste. You can make it without meat, but I feel like it adds a lot more flavor to the soup. You can also add vegetables in here um, if you would like. So think of it as a chicken noodle soup, but with rice. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started in making kopia. You're gonna need little riblets. This is optional, but I think it adds a lot more flavor to the soup if you use it. Jasmine rice, garlic, cooking oil, ginger, shallots, fish sauce, chicken bouillon, pepper, salt, and water. You want to start by frying your garlic and shallots in oil. Add the pork riblets. Season with salt. Crushed black pepper. Next, you want to add your ginger. Now you can add your rice. And then we will add our water. So now to this, we're going to add two spoonfuls of the chicken bouillon. Mix this all up. Turn up the heat and let it come to a boil. So once this starts to come to like a gentle boil, go ahead and just give it a stir. And then we're gonna reduce the heat to low and then go ahead and cover it with a lid and let the rice cook through. So I like to cook my rice soup for about 20 minutes. That is about the perfect al dente texture for me as far as the rice grains go. I don't like my rice to be too soggy. I still like to see individual grains. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and season it with fish sauce. And you can add this to each individual bowl, but I just feel like it adds a lot more flavor to the soup um, if you add the fish sauce directly into it. And then of course you want to go ahead and give it a taste. I think it's perfect. So at this point you can go ahead and remove it from the heat and then I'll show you guys how to garnish it. So I want to take a nice ladle full of the soup. You can remove the ginger from this once this is finished cooking or you can keep it in there. I actually really, really like ginger um, and I eat it whole so I'm totally okay with that staying in my soup. Now we're going to add chili oil. And I like it spicy, so I'm adding a lot of chili oil. And I have cilantro and green onion. And then I have fried garlic. I'm gonna add that right on top. Actually, this is fried onion. I grabbed the wrong thing, but that works too. And additional fish sauce, because I do like my food a little saltier. And now you just wanna stir this up. Seriously smells so good. I feel like I need a blanket to eat this. <laughs> mm. and the pork riblets. I'm just gonna go in with my hands. Mm. They come right off the bone. So good. 
If you guys are making any of my recipes, please tag me on Facebook or Instagram. I love seeing the pictures. And don't forget to follow me there at House of XTIA. I'll see you guys later. Bye.